Does everyone have the right to their own identity? Yes. Sorry, I'm going to borrow from you. I can't hear you. Does everyone have a right to their own identity? Yes. Does everyone have a right to be themselves? Should everyone be able to tell their government who they are and not the other way around? Yes. That's why this is so important. You've answered all the questions. <laughs> Look, I, I want to just put this in some quick perspective. You know, as a country, we have something that actually makes us unique. We have a founding document that talks about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. How can someone have happiness if they cannot be who they are. Think about it. How can someone be free and have liberty if they're not recognized for who they see themselves to be? Right now, let's be clear, even though that's in our founding document, the federal government does not allow uh, any form of ID that I've ever heard of, at least, certainly not a passport, to recognize the whole range of identity. And our state government doesn't either. And so it's up to New York City and it's up to localities all over this country to answer this, to give people a right they should have. Because we believe in self-determination, don't we? Isn't that what we're all about? Yeah. Yeah. Self-determination, self-expression. And there is a lot of talk about freedom. This is an essential example of freedom. If you're denied the right to express yourself, you don't have freedom. If you have to sit by the door of the classroom worried that someone's going to typify you the wrong way and deny your identity, you don't have freedom. You don't feel free. You can't feel free if you're not recognized for who you are. So I, I think a lot of people will watch the coverage of today's bill signing and some will immediately feel connected to this and understand it and appreciate it. Others will have some real questions. I say to them, think in terms of freedom. I don't know anyone who doesn't want freedom. Everyone has their own experience, but I think pretty universally people want freedom. Imagine if you were told you had to be something you did not consider yourself to be. How would that feel? Imagine there was literally no space given for your own identity as you saw it. That's been the reality for too many New Yorkers, too many Americans. It doesn't have to be that way. 